Hey guys, in this chapter, we're going to learn how to create an image gallery in Adobe Muse. So same as previous chapter, we're going to go directly into the page where we're going to place this image gallery. So I'm going to place it in about us. So I'm going to double click it. And here you're going to open the widget library and inside slideshows, you're going to drag out Lightbox because it's going to be an image gallery with a Lightbox. Okay, so this widget I'm going to zoom in so you see. So in this widget, it has two parts. So one visible part, which are the thumbnails here. And this one is what's going to trigger when it, whenever you click on the thumbnail. It's the light box that will appear. So this part of here, we're actually going to move it out. I'm going to move it out of the canvas. Let's move it here. And this other elements, this is the caption. I don't want captions. I don't want the count. And yeah, I actually might want this, which is the next button. So the, for the meantime, I'm just going to leave it here, out here. And I'm going to start with this. Just if you notice um, here, sorry, down here. If I click on show widgets parts while editing, this will disappear, as you see. So this is handy whenever you're designing what the light was going to look like. It's very handy. But then when you're done with your the whole the whole image gallery, then you can hide it. Because if you want to place elements above, below it, then it might overlay it. So it's a bit complicated to design. But for the meantime, I'm going to show the widget parts while editing. So same thing first thing is i'm going with the thumbnails this has a container which i'm going to make bigger and bring this a little bit down so first what i'm going to do is i'm going to add the images that i'm going to use in the image gallery and then i'll start resizing the thumbnails because it will be easier for me right now i only have three thumbnails and it's not the pictures that i want i want exactly this six so it works the same. Click on the folder and it will display. You can find your images. I've already optimized these images too. And you can choose uh, the transition. I'm going to leave it as it is right now. I'm just going to add one thing, which is the close button. Okay. So this close button is going where the light box. It will only show with the light box. For the meantime, um, we'll be there now. I'm going to resize the thumbnails. So remember these widgets, uh, it's made of several parts. So you have to click, click, click until you get there. So if you have to click up like three times over it until it's selected, it's normal. So here you can resize using the resize tool, or you can just drag this little corner and make it bigger actually what I'm going to do. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger because I want first let's leave it sorry let's leave it like this. Yes I'm going to leave it like this for the first breakpoints. Looking nice. So before editing how it will look in the other breakpoints what I'm going to do is I'm going to set how this will look so first thing i'm going to bring this up what i'm going to do is i'm going to make this bigger so i'm going to drag out just going to drag the corner and i'm happy how it looks like this so what i'm going to do this rectangle over here it's using a fill so I'm going to use okay, I'm going to zoom out because my swatches are still on the right so I'm going to click the rectangle and going to this is the color of the light box this is what I, I want it to be this color and I'm going to bring down the opacity because I want the background to show a little bit Great. I'm 
gonna bring it a little bit just a little bit like that now I'm gonna grab those these elements here I'm gonna zoom in because they're pretty small elements Sorry. and this And this is, I'm going to choose, use the text tool and turn it into white and bring up the size. So the good thing is that once you edit one of the parts, the other one is edited too. And it's white color, so this is going to be near the image. And I'm going to place both of them. Here. And now same with the close button so this has a fill i'm going to get rid of the fill make sure if in the states button see how it has a rollover it also has a fill so get rid of all of it i, I want it transparent so that's why i'm doing this last one active and done so just going to make this a little bit bigger so I can also bring this up until 36 and it's white too okay so this is how it's going to look now I'm going to preview this see how it looks so um, hopefully it will look exactly how I've, I've designed it and I haven't missed any states pan panel states button sorry biggest breakpoint so click on it and this is my light box looking good okay what I realized is that it's way too big and I can't see the close button over here so what I'm going to do is just going to make it a little bit smaller make the container just a bit smaller so you can bring the close button closer and this one too let's preview now all right so click on it and now we have the button and we have the arrows but the button I think it's too small, so you have to bring it a little bit bigger. That's probably because it's different in the different states. Exactly. So in normal, it wasn't set to 36 as I did before. Okay. So another thing that I was missing is that users might not know that this is clickable. So what I'm going to do is going to create a simple rollover effect using the panels, the state panels. So exactly the same thing, just going to click over the thumbnail as many times as you need. And I'm going to select roll over state and in fill, I'm going to use this same color. And what I'm going to do is going to bring down the opacity. Okay, let's preview this and you understand what I mean great thing about this because I didn't deselect the edit together so I just need to edit one thumbnail and the rest will be edited too so this is what I wanted so users know that there's an interaction here so it's clickable and I got the close button here and everything is looking better now great so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this responsive I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna fit this into the smaller breakpoints and also please take into account that this does not mean that you need to make other future adjustments whenever you place more web elements I'm gonna right now I have the, the basics the, the white canvas but I know that I'm gonna place more elements on top of this gallery so you might need to make other adjustments in every single breakpoint so if I'm gonna do this in the future I'm just gonna do minor adjustments now but in the future whenever I have more elements I will make the adjustments too so let's see how it looks in so no what I'm gonna do is first to make it responsive the best thing is just to click on the widget and go to
copy size and position to all breakpoints. No, sorry. So the best thing that you can do is click on the whole widget and right click and copy size and position just to the, the previous breakpoint, which is 1200. I'm going breakpoint by breakpoint, little by little, so it will fit. Now let's go to here and see what happens. Okay, the only difference that I see here is that I have to bring this up to 36. And now in this breakpoint, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, I'm going to resize the thumbnails and I'm going to make two columns. So just have to drag the corners. And fit the container here. I'm going to bring down the footer a little bit. Okay, so now I'm going to do the same thing from here. Just going to right click and copy size and position to 1000 breakpoint. And now let's go and see how it looks. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to make it just one column. So I'm doing the same thing. I'm going to fit here. Resize the container until here. I'm going to bring down the footer a little bit. Also, for some reason, this is not set how I want it to. Oops, sorry. Yeah, 36. And same thing. I'm going to copy size and position to the next smallest breakpoint. Let's visit it. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make the adjustments. So now I just want it to look a bit more rectangular. And I'm going to move this a little bit and make it smaller. No, first I have to make this a bit smaller. until here. So now I can make the container smaller. Okay, so I'm going to scroll down and bring this up. Okay, so I'm just going to move this a little bit Bring it to 36 and now same thing click on the widget and copy size and position to now is the smallest breakpoint so I want it to look exactly the same just a bit smaller I want rectangular thumbnails so same thing and fit this here and make it smaller also there's a big difference here Okay, so now what I'm going to do is let's preview this, see how it looks. Okay, so we know how this works. Let's make it, sorry, let's make. Let's make the browser smaller. What are we going to do? Let's make the browser smaller to next breakpoint and see how it looks. So what I'm noticing, I'm, I'm going to make this light box smaller in each breakpoint too, because right now it's way too big. And same thing as this one's over here. 
So thumbnails are looking pretty good and looking different in every in every breakpoint, but I just have to fit. So it was looking good in 1,400. Now let's go down to 1,200. I'm just going to make this slightly smaller. So you just have to move back the elements. Now to the 1,000, so it's going to be smaller too. Sorry. And also you have to move around the arrows. And make it smaller than before. So what is good is that whenever you make changes, you should preview and see how it looks. So go back to preview as many times as you want and you need. And like this. Okay, so let's go back to preview and see how it looks. And maybe we have to make other adjustments too. But I think it's going to look good now. Okay, so go to next breakpoint. Click on it. And now it does make sense. Now let's go to the next smallest breakpoint. And grid, because it still fits here. You can actually make this a bit smaller. Yeah, we can actually make it smaller. And this one over here, yes, we can make it smaller too. Okay, so um, it was in the thousand breakpoint. So what I'm going to do is resize this too. So this is actually bigger than the next breakpoint. So I'm just going to bring it down to 700. Wait, I'm going to resize. I'm going to lock this and bring this down to 700, let's say 720. Nice, so just move it. Here. And then in next breakpoint, it should be smaller than, than 480. So let's resize this to, let me think, 420. Let me make sure if this other close button is pretty visible. And let's go to the smallest breakpoint. So this is going to be also, let's say it has to be 300. Okay, done. Go back to preview. And looking good here. So what we're going to do is I'm going to next breakpoint. Now it looks good. Next breakpoint here. And it does look good. And small breakpoint. And it still fits the screen. And it still makes sense. Okay, so we're done with the image gallery. Hope you guys like this tutorial. See you next chapter.